Well, a murder that could lead to more violence in the Bay Area. Right now, three motorcycle gang members are locked up, accused of killing the leader of a rival gang in Pasco County. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joins us now live near the Suncoast Parkway and State Road 54, where those shots were fired. Uh, not, uh, it was about 24 hours ago, right in broad daylight. Jen, good evening to you. And the members of these gangs appear to be going to extreme measures to hurt each other. Yeah, broad daylight out here during the evening rush hour near the Sun Close Parkway. And right now, the sheriff is fearing that this feud could get worse. This is Christopher Dirty Cosimano. We're told he's the president of the 69ers motorcycle gang. Deputies tell us he got off of his bike Thursday and shot up a truck that was stopped on the Suncoast Parkway at State Road 54. The man inside was 44-year-old Paul Anderson, killed in broad daylight. We expect that there will be more violence in the Tampa Bay region because of this incident. More violence because we're told Anderson was the president of the local chapter of a rival gang. The Outlaws Motorcycle Club right here in Pasco County. Sometimes bad things happen to bad people. But what we don't want is innocent people to get hurt. The sheriff tells us this deadly feud started from a bar fight and road rage incident. So there's been some feuding going back and forth between these two groups. Deputies tell us Casamano, the accused shooter, wasn't alone on the parkway when the shots were fired. We're told Alan Bigby Guanto was in a lookout vehicle and Michael Pumpkin Mincher was on a second motorcycle ready to finish the job if needed. The sheriff tells us other groups are coming in from out of state, possibly to retaliate. That's a big deal when you take out a president. So, and I, these groups don't take it lightly. And we don't take it lightly because we know what it means. We know that there will be more violence. And right now, the sheriff is telling us they are throwing everything they can to stop any potential violence. They do have a big task ahead of us. He's telling us that there could be hundreds of members in these gangs locally and even more nationally. Jen? Pretty terrifying, the brazen nature of all this. Corey Davis, live in Pasco County. Thank you, Corey.